Well, you know, winter starts next week, but that doesn't mean water safety should go by the wayside. That's why the folks at Goldfish Swim School say it is the perfect time to teach kids how to swim. They tell us how their swimming lessons can save lives. It's really important to stay involved in organized swim lessons all year long. You got to build that consistency. So right now, stay enrolled, stay swimming. So by the time that you take those vacations and summer rolls around, you're really ready. We have a building blocks approach where we come in, you don't need any experience. Sometimes kids take time just to get comfortable in the water, but very soon they're going over those safety skills, floating on the back, getting the face in the water, doing pulling paddle, which is precursor to windmill arms. And then from there you move up and we start to work on the fundamentals to teach all four strokes. Even in the winter, people do go out on ponds. They are doing stuff, taking vacations, things of that nature. So the things that we learn in here in a very controlled environment can really be super important in the winter and other environments. We have this great drill called jump, turn, swim to the wall. It actually simulates falling into the pool and what you do, identifying where to get out of the pool. Oftentimes it's right behind you and then how you get out of the pool. We use a technique called elbow, elbow, tummy, knee so the child can safely identify the wall and get out of the pool. Getting them in, being very consistent. In a few months, most kids are pretty safe in and around the water with some of those basic skills of floating, getting out. So the earlier you can get them in, the more consistent you can be with your swim lessons, actually show up every week and attend the swim lessons. Then by March, you should start to see some good results that your kids should be safe, safer in the water. Floating on your back is a big one. Um, it's actually a, something we use here that's a precursor to side breath as well, so we use it two, two ways. A is a safety skill, but also the correct way to start to initiate side breath. So sometimes if you f fall in the pool and you can't get out, just buying some time, float on your back, turn yourself over, get your stomach up. Treading water is another big one. We do that as, as one of our safety skills. If you fall into the, any body of water, can you tread water and wait for help to get there? So there's definitely some other safety skills besides getting out. Even in the Midwest, there's indoor water parks, there's hot tubs, there's great opportunities for kids to enjoy the water, even in the winter months in Chicago and around the Midwest. So we want to make sure that we're using these safety skills now so everyone's safe. The leading cause of accidental death from kids one to four is drowning. This is a very serious safety concern for parents and children. It is a life skill 100%. It is something I believe parents have to do for their children, give them that life skill so A, they can be safe, and B, enjoy the water. Yeah. So right now at Goldfish Swim School, we have a package that's our holiday package to give the gift of swim lessons. We think this is a great gift for grandparents, aunts and uncles, instead of another toy that's underneath the tree. So these kids start to get these safety skills, really start to enjoy the water. It is definitely a life skill. You can gift a swim lesson package to a new member today. Just call the number on your screen or take out your phone, scan that QR code, which takes you straight to their website at goldfishswimschool.com slash Chicagoland. You know how to swim? No, I oh. don't. I can tread water. I can float, but okay. like I can't like accurately, sw I can't do the different, you know, I can't dive, I can't do the breaststroke, the actual, I know, yeah. Uh -huh.